interested when I learned about museums as an adult and started going to exhibitions about the ways that museums and the arts could help tell stories about community. And Scott says when he started working at the Birchfield Penny in August of 1997, he thought it would be a temporary job. But as soon as I started working here, I realized it's amazing what the arts can do. What was your first job here and what was that experience like? It was, I was the, the museum registrar and so I was responsible for all the artwork coming in and out of the building, the care, the location for it. It was, very, it was a very sort of technical job in a lot of ways, but um, it, it was interesting because it helped me learn all about artists of Western New York that I was unfamiliar with. And that laid the foundation for where he is today, leading a staff of about 30 and overseeing a $3.6 million budget. We are a space that is built and exists to honor the community. And so we're very unique nationally in that regard as far as regional museums go. One of Scott's goals is to make museums more accessible. We need to actually lift up voices and stories of people who have not been, had that opportunity. And I think that the, every direction that we're going to be moving in is going to be doing that more often rather than less often. We will continue to celebrate Charles Birchfield's work and the historic artists, but really giving a space for the younger artists to, to, to find a way to see themselves in the arts. For more information on the Birchfield Penny, I'll post a link for you in my story on WGRZ.com. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.